Upscan and images, enhancing game textures, improving AI generated images, still photorealism. Is there anything this AI can't improve? Let's take a look at Magnific AI together compared to alternatives, find out how it works, and just have some fun. If you live in a cage and have never heard about Magnific AI, let me fix that for you. Magnific AI is a new AI part image upscaler and enhancer that has been making waves in the AI community. It uses a variety of techniques to upscale and enhance images, which allows Magnific AI to produce some of the most impressive results we've seen from an image upscaler. One of the things that makes Magnific AI so popular is its ability to hallucinate and reimagine details in images. This means that it can take a low resolution image and add as much detail as you wish, guided by your own prompts and parameters. The examples shown on the website look truly amazing, super realistic, super stylistic and detailed. As I have already mentioned, people have have been using it not only to upscale simple AI generated images, but also to create games. There is this guy, you see Companion, who's making a point and click game. And recently he shared with people how he used Magnific AI to upscale AI generated backgrounds for his game. The examples he showed are truly amazing. Don't worry, we will test this AI ourselves, but for now, let's look at what other people can do. This developer has found out that this AI can not only improve images, but also works with UV maps, which basically means straight up texture enhancement. I think with this tool, it won't be a problem to restore and improve an old game. If you are on good terms with computers, you can just unpackage the game, files, extract textures, upscale them with these AI, then put those textures back and get a remastered game for free. Well, of course, this would not be a fast process, but it's going to be an interesting adventure. I am not going to do that mainly because I prefer playing games without unnecessary hassle, but I'm sure some of you are video game enthusiasts, so put a pin on that. Now let's try it. I've prepared a bunch of images and want to push this thing as far as possible today. As soon as I open the website, I'm greeted with this beautiful gradient where the images are going to be. On the left, I can see all the settings I can adjust. At the top is the number of coins my subscription gives me every month. Below that is a place to upload an image. So let's do that. The first image will be this silly photo of me. Magnific currently allows setting the scale factor only at 2x and hopefully in the future it will support 4x or even more. Next I can select what the image should be optimized for. The options are standard, portraits, art and illustrations, video game assets, nature and landscapes, films and photography, 3D renders, science fiction and horror. I think this selection will be more than enough for any type of upscaling. I'm going to select portraits since it's a photo of my face. Duh. Next stop is the text input field for a prompt. I'm gonna leave it blank for now. Below are three sliders, creativity, HDR, and resemblance. We'll test what each one of them does in a second. And the last thing I can choose is the engine. There are four options, automatic, sparkle, illusio, and sharpie. But I'm gonna leave it automatic for this one. Now I'll just click upscale and wait. And while we wait, let me tell you about this video sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is my top pick for learning math, data science, and computer science. It makes learning engaging and interactive, offering a wide range of lessons from beginner to advanced levels. Brilliant tailors the learning experience to your needs. When you join, you start with a quick quiz that evaluates your skills and interests. Based on this, Brilliant suggests lessons that fit you best. You actually, you can study at your own pace with Brilliant's guided lessons. And if you're ever confused, there are clues and step-by-step -step solutions to help you out. My personal favorite course is CS and Programming, Thinking and Code, which excellently teaches computer basics in a fun, game-like manner. Plus, Brilliant keeps adding new content, so there is always something fresh to learn, no matter your progress level. Level. If you are eager to dive into STEM subjects in a fun way, I strongly suggest trying Brilliant. Start with a 30-day free trial and the first 200 to sign up for my link get a 20% discount on an annual plan. Simply visit the link brilliant.org slash AI master in the description below. Upscaling of the image isn't instant, it takes some time, but I feel like the 30 seconds it says is pretty much realistic. The upscaling is done, let's check it out. Whoa, that's not what I expected. This is a very strange result 
As for the upscaling itself, it's basically spot on. Now there are much more details, especially on my skin and all of the hair. The beard looks more pronounced and detailed, I like that. However, I can already see some problems. First of all, my eyes. Just look at them, they're nothing like they were. The color is different now, and the eyelashes that were not present in the original photo suddenly are in the upscaled one. And also, the shape of the nose is somewhat different and looks a bit crooked. I basically look like a handsome Squidward. If we look at the hairline, we'll see that AI has added some additional hairs. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty solid upscale, even if I take into account all these minor changes. Now, let's play a little. I will input a prompt, pretty man's selfie, hope it does something. Then I will bump up the creativity to five and resemblance to 10. I will set HDR to minus six and leave the engine at automatic. After some more waiting, the upscaling is done. And here on the top right corner of each image, we can see the parameters we set, which can be useful. As for the image itself, it looks pretty much identical to the previous upscale version. I feel like in this one, there are a bit more details, especially in the eyes. The AI has also made the lighting more pronounced and the highlights on the face are now brighter. The eyes have more detail than before and they look a bit more natural and realistic in their shape and size, but it doesn't look like the prompt has changed anything. Let's try a different, more creative prompt. Young man with with big eyes, one red and one yellow. Punk haircut. Now this should do it. I will set the creativity to the max and resemblance at zero, HDR at four, and the engine will be sparkle. Whoa, and this version is definitely something else. Look how detailed it is. The skin, the hair, the individual wrinkles, the eyes. This is definitely the best version of me. The background is full of sparkles, which apparently is what this engine does. Personally, I think it's a nice image, but it very much looks unrealistic and Photoshop. But the quality though, look, it even made me richer and replaced my silver chain with a gold one. As for that prompt, I don't see it working at all. None of my eyes in this upscale are red or yellow, and the haircut is also exactly as it was before. Maybe if I set the resemblance to minus 10 and HDR to zero, we'll see some difference. I will also change the engine to Lucio. After waiting a few more seconds, here is the result. I don't know about you, but to me it looks extremely fake. First of all, the chain is now gone and the details in the background also gone. That was just a plain gray. Also the mustache and beard are totally different now. The hair is more pronounced and detailed, but it does make me look weird. Not gonna lie. The facial expression is also completely gone. Now my face is basically emotionless. The lips have changed their size and shape and the nose did the same. If I squint my eyes, I would be able to say that it's a photo of me, but overall, me and this person, don't really look alike. I do like the texture of the skin though. It's very detailed and well taken care of. What if I leave all the settings as is and change the engine to Sharpie? Well, nothing, at least in terms of this photo. It looks identical to the previous one, but at least the background now has some detail to it. Prompt, just as I thought, doesn't do anything and it's a shame, especially with all the processing that AI does. Well, how about uh, another photo? This is a photo of me standing on the balcony with mountains and forests the background with all parameters set to zero and optimization for nature and landscapes, the overall photo looks quite good. But if we look a little closer, we'll see that that's not me in the upscale photo. It's someone else, someone who looks like Keanu Reeves. I wish I looked that way, but this result is far from perfect. With standard optimization, it's basically the same thing, but the glasses are now gone completely. Let's just max out all the sliders and see where it takes us. I will also input a prompt just in case. Whoa, this result is terrible. There is no point in discussing it further. It's just bad. I feel like HDR is the problem, so I'll set it to zero and decrease resemblance, leaving the creativity at 10. These parameters also replace me with someone else and change the background quite a bit. Only if I set creativity to zero, I will get a somewhat usable result. How about a macro photo of my eye? I will set the optimization for films and photography, creativity and resemblance at five, and the engine will be sparkle. The result itself is far more detailed, but looks really weird and uncanny, especially the eye itself. What if I set the resemblance to minus 10 and creativity to 10? This is absolutely horrendous, scary and outright terrible. Looks like a lucid dream of 
sorts. Definitely the worst upscaling I've ever seen. I think this upscaler struggles with up close objects and fails to recognize what's in the image. So maybe it can do a better job with this photo of three dudes. Creativity at five, HDR and resemblance at zero, same optimization, and engine set to Lucio. Well, this result, I might say, isn't half bad. I'm noticing that the teeth and the smiles have changed for all of us, and the same has happened to the eyes. The skin looks unnaturally glossy, maybe changing the optimization to portraits will help. And yes, it does. The skin looks much more natural and similar to the original one, and so does the facial hair and the hair in general. However, I absolutely hate what it does to eyes and smiles. None of us in the upscaled smiles looks like we do on the original one. And also, the AI completely destroyed the text on my backpack, but this is common for AI. I think this AI does the best upscaling job if I upload the general photo that has a lot of objects in the background and the foreground. Maybe some shots of nature, cities, etc. I think in general, you should upscale your face only if you're not afraid of losing all the specific characteristics that make you, you. Now I want to have some fun. And for this purpose, I have this super low res image of a Lord Farquaad. The optimization will be for 3D renders, resemblance at 10, and the result looks actually quite good, at least in terms of upscaling. However, the facial expression is completely lost. This now is just a random dude in a funny suit. What if I set creativity at 10, resemblance at 10, Sharpie engine, and optimization for science fiction and horror? Farquaad is a villain after all, so horror fits him quite nicely, I think. Oh my god, this looks absolutely terrifying, like a fever, dream, or even worse than that. I don't even have the words to properly describe it. You can see it for yourself, it's absolutely nuts. Oh my god, this gives me such an unsettling feeling. Well, okay, this optimization is now done for. Don't ever use it. Well, let's scrap that and try the most basic upscaling. Standard optimization, all sliders to zero, and the result is quite bad. <laughs> it's still pixelated, has almost no useful details, and the face looks nothing like it should. Maybe such a low resolution image isn't something the Magnific can do. Well, no worries, I have something else I wanted to try. This is a screenshot from the PS1 game, Tomb Raider. I want to try upscaling it until it looks like a remaster of the game. They said they had to upscale the image three times to get a good result. Well, let's see how many iterations it would take in our case. Standard optimization, creativity, and HDR at zero, automatic engine, resemblance at 10. This looks only a tiny bit better, a little bit cleaner, but nothing special. Let's change the optimization to video game assets and resemblance to five. Again, nothing special. It's still very pixelated and nothing like we would expect. Resemblance minus 10. Well, that's what I'm talking about. This is some proper upscaling. Now there is some sort of a face, some sort of a hand and hair, but everything else looks quite crooked and terrible. But I think it's good enough to serve as a base for our future upscaling. So I will upload this image back into the upscalers, set the optimization to portraits, creativity at 10, and resemblance at five. This looks a little bit better but still not perfect. And now I cannot upscale it any worse since the resolution is bigger than the AI supports. I think in terms of upscaling video games, there is a clear threshold that we cannot get through. It all depends on the game, its design, artwork, and style. So maybe it's better to just upscale the textures like that developer from before did. I also really want to try upscaling artwork, especially created by AI. So I'm going to use Dolly 3 to create a couple of images. The first one will be an Akira-inspired anime poster, and the second will be the most stereotypical French street. I will upload our anime poster first and set optimization to art and illustrations. Creativity and resemblance will be at seven. And just look at these results. This looks absolutely fantastic. The poster now has much more detail and a more pronounced anime style. Everything from the signs and the buildings to people and the background have been revamped and changed. The motor cycle has more character to it, the jacket on our hero is more detailed and wrinkled. This is a proper upscaling right there. I want to take this image a little further and we'll upload it back 
into the upscaler, bump up creativity to 10 and lower the resemblance to three. The engine will be Illusio. Just look at this difference. This final upscaled image looks absolutely insane. Everything that was great in the previous image here is even better. Look at the motorcycle, the girl in the back, the signs in the buildings, the details in the sky, and then this huge robot. And the car in the back in the bottom left corner, look how detailed it is. It even has passengers now. This is just amazing. And to me, it seems like the most mind-blowing upscale I've seen today. How about uh, French Street? I will set optimization for films and photography, creativity at eight and resemblance at three. Wow. Now we're talking. The upscaled image looks much better and more realistic. People look like people, but I see that AI has decided to change the breed of dogs. Still, this is a very respectable result, but I'm gonna take it even further and re-upload this upscale image back. Same parameters, same everything, but look at these results. This almost looks like a photo. Everything is better. The Eiffel Tower looks like a proper Eiffel Tower. The faces and people look like real people and everything is just so detailed and well thought of. I wish I could upscale this photo even further, but the size limitations are still there. I think it's clear that Magnific AI is the best image upscaler out there. And if you don't believe me, let me show you what its closest competitor, Remini, can do. I will use all the same images as I did previously, my silly face, terrible results. I feel like it's the most basic beautify filter found on cheap Chinese phones. Me on the balcony, slightly more detail, but not that huge of a difference. There is one interesting feature though, color correction. In Remini, I can select one of the suggested color corrections, and in my case, it will be golden. Realistically, it does nothing to the image, only slightly changes its tint. Moving on, close-up shot of my eye. I don't know about you, but I barely see any difference. Photo of the three dudes. Here, the difference is more visible. Remini didn't destroy the eyes or smiles on us and preserved them as is. The image became clear and a bit more detailed. I can still see some beautification, but it's not very visible. This is... A good result. Lord Farquaad, that's where Remini takes the cake, an upscale that preserves the facial expression. Yes, it doesn't really look like a real person, but in terms of upscaling, this is definitely the best result. Lara Croft, this upscaling is basically useless. Nothing has been done to the image itself. How about the anime poster? It has a bit more detail to it now, but the visual style is basically the same as it was. The same goes for the French street. It just has slightly higher resolution, but overall still is very weird. Magnific does use some sort of black magic. That's the only explanation I can think of. Well, how else would you explain such impressive results? Well, of course, I'm joking. It's all about the algorithms and training. I think for 40 bucks a month that Magnific costs, it's still the best bang for the buck. I would rather pay 40 bucks and get amazing results than pay 20 and get something barely passable. The potential of Magnific AI is truly endless. So if you want to restore your family photos from the old days or just improve any image, that's the only way to do it. I'm certain of it. No other AI that I have tried gave such results, especially with this consistency. And it's super easy to use as you saw yourself. Only a couple of sliders to move around and a couple of options to choose. That's all it takes to take your photos and artwork to the next level. If you have any cool suggestions on how this upscaling AI can be useful, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.